Brexit, Rob and Barnier hold talks to resolve big issues. Brexit negotiators are meeting now to try and resolve big issues ahead of a crunch summit of EU leaders this week. The talks between the UK's Dominic Robb and the EU's Michel Barnier are focusing on Northern Ireland and future economic relations. It comes as domestic political pressure on Theresa May increases. Scottish Secretary David Mundell and Scots Tory leader Ruth Davidson say they will not accept Northern Ireland being treated differently. In a letter to the Prime Minister, they said the integrity of the UK remains the single most important issue for us and cannot be undermined by any withdrawal agreement with the EU. They indicate they will not tolerate a situation in which Northern Ireland remained in the customs union and single market, while the rest of the UK was outside it, or the introduction of customs and regulatory checks on goods moving between Northern Ireland and Britain that did not exist elsewhere within the UK. A source close to Ms Davidson said the issue was a red line for her, while a source close to Mr Mundell told the BBC, if you find yourself not agreeing with government policy resigning would be the logical outcome. It follows reports that other top ministers are considering their positions over the weekend ahead of a meeting of the cabinet on Tuesday at which ministers could be asked to give their consent to an agreement. The Rob Barnier meeting comes amid conflicting signals as to whether the two sides are nearing a deal on the terms of the UK's exit next March as well as a framework of future economic and security cooperation. Air of Drama by the BBC's Brussels reporter Adam Fleming. It's not clear for how long the two will meet, or whether the Brexit secretary will stay in Brussels overnight, although there are indications this might just be a day trip. While Mr Robb's weekend visit has an air of drama, it's standard practice in the talks for civil servants to hand over to politicians at key points like this. The government statement suggests the Northern Irish backstop is not the only outstanding issue, at the end of last week, the unresolved areas were the governance of the withdrawal agreement, solving disputes that arise from the treaty, and the protection of regional products. The EU's aim is to have the entire withdrawal agreement agreed in principle by Wednesday's summit of EU leaders. Michelle Barnier has said there should be decisive progress before work begins on drafting the political declaration on the future relationship. Diplomats in Brussels said they would be prepared to approve the withdrawal agreement if there were still small outstanding issues. The EU has said there needs to be decisive progress on Northern Ireland and other issues in the run-up to the meeting of EU leaders, which starts on Wednesday. If this happens, the EU could then hold a follow-up event in mid-November, at which any deal would be expected to be finally approved. A department for exiting the European Union spokesman said, with several big issues still to resolve, including the Northern Ireland backstop, it was jointly agreed that face-to-face -face talks were necessary. Backstop wrangling. The issue of the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, which will become the UK's border with the EU, is one of the last remaining obstacles to achieving a divorce deal with Brussels. Wrangling is continuing over the nature of a backstop to keep the border open if a wider UK-EU trade arrangement cannot resolve it. The EU's version, which would see just Northern Ireland remain aligned with Brussels rules, has been called unacceptable by Mrs May and her Democratic Unionist allies. What is the Chequers plan? Agreed by the Cabinet in July 2018, it includes a common rule book for all goods traded with the EU and a facilitated customs arrangement which aims to maintain frictionless trade in goods between the UK and the EU while allowing Britain to develop an independent trade policy with the rest of the world. The plan would end free movement of people. At the beginning of the summer the government's senior ministers held a day-long meeting about Brexit at Chequers, the Prime Minister's official country home in Buckinghamshire. The aim was to agree what the government wanted from negotiations with the EU about the future relationship between the UK and the EU over Brexit. The plan that emerged from the meeting has become known as the Chequers Plan, or sometimes simply Chequers, 
The key aim of the plan is to create a free trade area for goods moving between the EU and the UK while stopping freedom of movement for people between them. To do this, the UK would commit to collecting import taxes, known as tariffs, on behalf of the EU for goods that arrive in the UK on their way to the EU. Meanwhile, goods that were staying in the UK could be charged at a different rate, depending on any future trade deals the UK agrees with other countries. The UK would also agree to a common rule book with the EU for manufactured goods and food, which would mean following EU rules and standards. In the future, if the EU changed any of its standards, the UK could decide not to follow those changes but at the risk of losing the free trade agreement for those goods. The government believes the combination of the common rule book and collecting tariffs for the EU would avoid the need for checks on goods passing between the UK and the EU including over the Irish border. However, the EU doesn't accept all proposals in the Chequers plan. It thinks the proposals amount to cherry-picking parts of EU membership, in other words, keeping the bits the UK wants to stay attached to, while rejecting other rules. The EU is also unconvinced the UK would be able to accurately track all the goods moving through it. And many Conservative MPs are unhappy with the UK government's proposed alternative, which would see the UK temporarily remain in a customs union until the Irish border question is resolved, either through technological solutions or as part of a wider trade agreement. Brexiteers fear this will leave the UK in indefinite limbo, bound by the EU's rules and limited in the trade deals it can negotiate with other countries. Writing in the Sunday Times, former Brexit Secretary David Davis urged ministers to exert their collective authority and reject the plans. But Health Secretary Matt Haycock urged ministers to unite behind the Prime Minister, insisting there were different ways to ensure any customs commitments were credibly time-limited, asked whether any deal would include a date at which the UK would no longer be bound by the rules of the customs union. He told the BBC's Andrew Marshall, I certainly hope so. There was absolutely no reason for cabinet ministers to quit over the issue, he insisted. On Saturday evening, German newspaper Suddutch Zeitung reported a deal had already been reached between Mrs May and the EU, and would be announced on Monday, but an O10 source told the BBC the report was 100%, categorically untrue.